I will fight like hell for you every single day, like I've always done and always will. Well, good afternoon. I'm Dan Cummings. Christy and Jeff are both off this evening, and that was the voice of Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul. The first words among the first words she has spoken since she became the incoming governor of New York, the first woman in state history to be governor. She'll take over in 13 days from now for the resigning Governor Andrew Cuomo. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan was able to ask a question over Zoom of the incoming governor. So, Andrew, what did she say when she finally got a chance to do Q&A? Well, Dan, I asked about the rise in coronavirus cases in how that surge will impact the state fair or possibly the reopening of schools and students wearing masks. The incoming governor said for the next 13 days, those decisions are not yet hers to make. Kathy Hochul is no stranger to Syracuse. She graduated from Syracuse University proudly and has made many visits to Central New York as Lieutenant Governor. During those visits, her message was always in line strictly with Governor Andrew Cuomo. She never questioned his decisions, but but now she says those visits kept her away from what's now described as a toxic environment. Well, there'll be turnover. There'll be turnover. And that is the description from many witnesses in the Attorney General's report. I think it's very clear that the governor and I have not been close, um, physically or otherwise, in terms of uh, much time. And so I've been traveling the state and do not spend much time uh, in his presence or in the presence of many in the Capitol. But that is what has been re being reported. And I'm going to stand right here. At the end of my term, whenever it ends, no one will ever describe my administration as a toxic work environment. Well, taking some pains to distance herself from Andrew Cuomo. Okay. Well, and, and it's not a surprise and it's no secret that her visits here were always on his agenda, staying on his talking points. It, it was almost, you knew the lieutenant governor was coming to town, you knew you weren't going to get anything different than had it been the governor, and so it's no surprise that that, that had been the case. But to hear her say she was actually always distant, kind of out of the inner circle. She appeared yeah. at only a handful of the coronavirus briefings. There were hundreds yeah. of them. She was only at a few when they were in western New York. So. Yeah. It works out well because she has enough experience to take the job, she says, but she's stayed enough, away from some of the drama. Enough independence to be independent <laughs> as she moves forward with her own agenda. You heard all the Q&A. She uh, handled herself pretty well in command of the issues. She was careful to not step on the governor's toes as he remains in power for 13 days, but was confident that she'll make her own decisions come that day that she takes the oath of office. And she says there's nobody more prepared than she is. Andrew Donovan, thank you for, again for your coverage this afternoon.